So every day you log into the FIFA 17 web app, a flash will come up saying daily rewards. This can either be coins or packs that you just give out for free. With coins it will be 100 coins, 500 coins, 1000 coins, 2500 coins and 5000 coins. If you don't get coins you'll either get packs. These packs can either be bronze packs, silver packs and gold packs. So yeah, definitely make sure you're logging in daily just to leave free stuff. If you have multiple accounts, like I had five accounts last year. I got five times the amount of packs or coins that I would have had if I only had one account. So the first time you log on to the FIFA 17 web app or the actual game, they'll actually reward you with loyalty packs depending if you've played the game increases the amount of packs you're actually going to get. So if you're just starting FIFA 17 you haven't played any other FIFAs, what you want to do is go over to your mates, make an account on FIFA 16, play a few games on it, and then when you log into the FIFA 17 web app or the game, you'll actually be rewarded with free packs. And these are like mixed players packs, whatever. Sometimes you get good players, but you know any player counts in the start of FIFA because you want to get loads of coins. Only, it's only game. Why you have to be mad? Now guys, do not be stupid. Don't make the mistakes that so many other people have done. Don't open packs with coins. The amount of people who have done this and then just said to me, like a few of my mates have done this and just said to me, I have no coins and I can't even trade. And I'm like, what are you done with them? Open packs, why not? The, the chance you get on players with good packs is shit. So what you want to do if you were to open packs is that transfer FIFA points from FIFA 16 to FIFA 17. Uh, there's tons of videos online to do that, and it's really easy to do that if you want to open pack. One thing to do is that you might as well complete the manager's task as well. In FIFA 16, there was about 18, I think. And by the end of it, you only get you get a free gold pack for free, so you might as well. It's only buying new kits, maybe challenging the team of the week once. You might as well do it just to get a free gold pack. Oh, baby! And another thing to do is go on the EA catalog and then buy all the kits, badges, balls, etc. All all the conceivables basically. And then you want to go onto your ultimate team and just quick sell them. Well I did I did this last year and I got about five to six K and it takes about what five minutes to do that and it's just five six K instantly. And also another thing to do as while you're in the catalog you might as well redeem the coin boost you get. I think they can be plus 200, plus 500, and plus 1,000. I know there's one which is plus 1,000, it's for 15 games. Every game you play, you get plus 1,000, which is mad. Guess who's back? And my last and biggest tip will be, be patient. All the packs that you just opened, the starter packs, the daily rewards, the manager tasks, what you want to do if you get any big players you want to hold on to them until FIFA 17 actually releases on console because I made a massive mistake last year I got Carl Walker on one of my loyalty packs or starter pack he sold for about 4k at the time of the web app and then when the game come out he rose to 18k so I lost an absolute ton and I kind of made an absolute ton of profit there but if the players are quite bad it depends on the players really if they're going to raise in price or maybe even go down in price because at the start of FIFA on console the price of the players fluctuate quite a lot but most of them seem to rise especially the really good ones like BPL or 85 and above and when you hold on to them and finally sell them you are going to be swimming in coins.